this is to compare with the last video done when I had the um, 100 or 400 and the 1.4 converter with the Peter McKinnon filter on. So this time I'm using a completely different setup. So I'll just show you and take you through what I've, um, I, I'm actually uh, working with today. So as you can see, I'm using the microphone is down on the side here. I'm using the A7S3 and I've got the Ninja to set there. I've also got my sound recorder mic there so I can record all my own sounds from the birds and the woodlands which is quite nice. I've got the nice little area over there that I've got the squirrels that are going to come into. So this is my setup here. So as you can see, I'm actually set right there. As you can see, um, this is what I'm actually shooting is, is there. And you can see the same on the Ninja. Now, this is my remote. And I can record and zoom in and out with these as I will show you here. So I'm going to just press the record button now. And as you can see the red line going round is actually recording onto the Ninja and then I can press my zoom which is nicely slowly zooming in and I can zoom back out again and this is actually using the remote this is the Sony remote so I can turn the recorder off and it will turn it off so from a distance here, I can explain, I can show you now, so I'm going to press record and I'm going to zoom in, it's nicely zooming in very nicely and then I'm going to zoom back out again. And then I'm going to stop record and that's me. Now, I'm just going to show you the actual video in playback so you can actually see that. So, I'm going to play. And then, that's the actual playing back the image. In playback mode. So then I go back into and I'm ready to go again. Now, a little tip when you're using a ball, I'm using a 501 here, a Manfro 501. A little tip to keep it stable, keep the arm up. So when you go to grab it and you want to pan, you're actually putting pressure down. If, if the handle is actually down, you put it down and it makes it unstable, it makes it wobbly. So keep, the, keep this up and then it gives you a nice way of panning. So if I just undo this a little bit gently here and down here. Now by pushing it up, I could pan quite nice. It's panning nicely here. So this is the Polar Pro setup here and I've got the filter which is here. This is a polarizer. You turn this and that actually works with the actual ND which is here. Now it's important that when you put the ND in is to have the writing facing out. Otherwise you'll get a funny color cast. So make sure that the writing is facing that way. On the uh, polarizer, the writing which is here, when you put it in, it's facing towards you. 
this way the two will work together and I'm getting eaten alive here with the midges and just down here I've actually got this on some small rig and this here will hold my lens nice and stable so then there's no pressure going up and down there's no movement and there's the mic there so this is me for today sitting here waiting for the squirrels to attend and see what videos we can get now like I said it's important with the handle keep it up keep it up yeah right that makes it more stable when you go to touch it you're you're actually pushing it forward you're actually pushing it forward which is pushing it to the ground so it's more stable if it was down and you go to grab it you're pulling it up and that's where it makes it a little bit wobbly so I'm just looking around and I've not put no food out yet for the squirrels which I will do in a minute and then I can get some videos now the sun's not out today well it will be in a minute it's going to burn off this fog and it's going to be really nice now this is where this filter comes into itself and the ninja as well um, other than that that is me now I've also got the mic on and I've got the mic attached directly to the camera and in the ninja settings on the camera and the ninja settings on the audio I've got a two second delay because it takes time if you actually put sound through this through the camera through to the ninja so there's a two second delay now I will show you this a bit crude but later on um, during the week I will actually launch another video where I show you all my settings on how you can make a remote work the ninja on zooming and recording so you don't have to touch any of the equipment Thank you. 